Desperately disappointing afternoon for Altrincham Football Club today with a 1-0 defeat against Alfredton Town and we're talking to manager Lee Sinnott. Uh, Lee, uh, I'm afraid, certainly from my perspective, that looked like two poor teams out there this afternoon. Um, well, I can only comment on ourselves, can't I? I, mean, I don't like to go down the road of commenting on other teams like that. I thought we started, I thought we started OK. Um, but after the, after the goal, I, I thought we petered away a little bit. I mean, I asked for two things before before the game. You know, we uh, we give messages to the players. Obviously, we do, and uh, it's not so long ago that we played Alfreton, is it? What is it? Six weeks, eight weeks, or something like that. So it's pretty fresh in the mind. And coming out of that game was uh, first of all the main thing was to be more ruthless uh, with the chances that we created because uh, we did create uh, a few chances away at Alfreton, and uh, in my view, should have took the three points. And uh, and obviously uh, a fast uh, passing tempo. And uh, if I'm truthfully honest, Brian, you know, we, we, we didn't uh, provide either today. As you said, we did start well and there was a reasonable tempo in the first uh, 10 minutes, created one or two chances. It looked like it was only a matter of time before we scored. Uh, James Laurie was on the end of a really good move and just uh, cleared the bar with his header. But all of a sudden, we just seemed to lose it and Alfredson took a grip of the game. Interesting you say they took a grip of the game. Um be interesting to see what uh, the possession stats were, but obviously then you've got to look at what you do with that possession. But if I strip it all away, uh, Flynn, and I look at the clear-cut chances in today's game, although we play poorly, um, we've had three clear-cut chances, and I mean guilt edge chances, um, whereas they've probably only had one and scored with it. Um, so that, that that disappoints me as well. That uh, you know the. Uh, we, uh, we weren't ruthless, which is what I asked for. We weren't ruthless in the box. I mean, you, you have a penalty in the last minute. Reeves has had the opportunity, hasn't he, from six, seven yards out. And, Dame, um, and, and Jimmy has had the header. Um, Centre of the goal, seven yards out, isn't it? So, you know, um, we didn't convert either of them. And that's, uh, and that's what's cost us. Uh, and then you look at the goal conceded. You know, the ball's, the ball's travelled a long way from the corner. It's, uh, it's not been deflected. So you can see the true fly to the ball. And yet somebody heads it in four yards out. Um, four yards out and four yards in of the post. So um, that shouldn't happen. Alfreton had an incredible number of corners. It seemed every time, every five minutes, they were getting a corner and they were putting us under a, a lot of pressure, getting a huge number of players in the six-yard box. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tactic of theirs, isn't it, to, uh, to swamp the keeper. Uh, you obviously need the, uh, the referee to be strong. Um, I thought we dealt with it by and large. I mean, obviously, you know, because, of, like I said, Stuart's put the ball, picked the ball out out of the net, hasn't he? But um, then you'd think, you know, um, what other opportunities Alverton have actually engineered and uh, clear-cut uh, um, chances. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm scratching my head probably to, uh, to remember them. And we did have a, a golden opportunity, as you say, in the last uh, minute to, to equalise. Uh, it's difficult to criticise Stephen Gillespie because he's uh, got up and taken the penalty kick. Uh, but it was a good save by the keeper, uh, but really disappointing when you had such a, an opportunity to get out of jail free, really, and we didn't take it. After the first 15 minutes, it was a completely different answer to the question that you've just asked me. After the first 15 minutes, uh, as the game went on, I got more and more annoyed, if I'm totally honest, because I didn't like what I was seeing. Um, we've had three guilt-head chances. The penalty, Reeves's and Jimmy's, like I said, we should have scored them. End of. The one that we conceded, we shouldn't have conceded. That's what's cost us today. So, you know, let's not. I'm not going to dress it up any other way. Um, and it goes back to what I asked for before the game which was to be ruthless in the penalty box and that wasn't the case and that's that's what's prevented us from getting three points which you know would have uh, made our league position look uh, um, a lot prettier wouldn't it I mean we, we've been on a decent run of late I mentioned to the players on Thursday that you know to uh, to keep it focused you know to keep the foot down on the pedal and um, we um, I think after the goal, we, we, you know, we didn't pass the ball well. Our, our movement wasn't well. We didn't hold the ball up well. Um, we, um, it was a, it was a performance that, um, not saying not what we used to, but you, you know, the kind of performances that I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to bring more um, consistently, uh, Flinny, don't you? And uh, and and we were we were off it today. There's 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 no doubt in my mind. Hence, like I said. I'm sure with the rest of the crowd as well, starting to get a little bit more aerated as, as the game went on. We really are at quite a strange side because if we get the first goal, we settle down and play, play some great football generally. When we concede, we do tend to get jittery. And that was uh, quite extreme today because normally we'd respond a little bit better than we have done this afternoon. But as you say, we just couldn't seem to get move the ball around the pitch as we would normally uh, do and we li as we like to. Yeah, but the, the, the players are told what, what, what's needed, what's required. Um, you know, and it's once across the white line. You know, uh, th th those plans need to be carried out. And like I said, 
even little 10 yard passes sometimes are going astray and you know we're, we're better than that we've shown that we're better than that um, this season um, in, so, in some very tough games so um, probably the thing that comes out of this interview Flynn is maybe maybe the consistency value that uh, you know wasn't there wasn't there today uh, but I know my group of players are better than they put on um, today but in saying that you know we still should have won the game you know I'm not saying we played well at all no we didn't no, but if you're looking at the clear-cut chances, yeah, and what they've had against um, our own goal, yeah, we still should have won the game. And what did you make of the actual penalty decision? It was a clumsy challenge by the central defender. You look clumsy. Um, we're at ground level, Flinny, aren't we? I mean, you've got a, a much better position um, to comment on that. I knew it was central. I didn't know if it was in in, in the box because you know we're at ground level. But yeah, I mean, it, all over him like uh, you know like. Uh, a bad rush, really, wasn't it? You know, just climbing over. I mean, all he's got to do is stand up, but that's by the by. You know, we got the penalty. We didn't dispatch it. So, you know, kind of uh, um, sums our day up in a, in a little way. And was uh, Stephen Gillespie always going to take it, or was that down to the players on the pitch? That was down to the players on the pitch. I mean, the designated penalty taker was Nicky Clay. Obviously, Nicky came off with, uh, you know, with a bang on his toe. Um, so that, that would have gone down to uh, the, down to the skipper then, um, you know, of... Uh, if who feels confidence uh, to step up, and to be fair to him, Steve has. It's just, you know, it's just unfortunate that uh, you know it's a comfortable penalty really for the, uh, you know, for the keeper to save. Yeah, it's very disappointing to lose Nicky Clee because he had started the game quite well, and he he, he is an injury-prone sort of player, but he also gets targeted by the opposition. So I suppose he's always going to have to to, uh, to to deal with that sort of thing. Nicky's targeted, I think. If you if you want to call it that, I won't say you know the, <laughs> the hatchet men are out. Because of the way he plays the game, you know, he's a, he's a dribbler with the ball. He keeps the ball nice and tight, and people think that they've got a chance to, uh, you know, to get a tackle in, and he'll whip it away. Hence, he takes his knocks. Playing the game like Nicky does, you know, you, you're going to get those, uh, you, you're going to get those knocks. So hopefully, um, we'll see how it settles down after the week, weekend. But hopefully, it'll be, uh, you know, um, only something minor. So we travel now to Central Bank on Tuesday, Lincoln City, I believe. Uh, you were saying with three goals to the good against um, Forest Green Rovers today and have drawn 3-3, three, three. so uh, two teams with something to prove. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just looking at our lot, uh, Flinney. Uh, we can play a hell of a lot better than we, than we did today. And uh, we've had moments like this, and like, like I said, when I spoke to the players on Thursday, you've got to keep your foot down on the pedal, you know. Um, you've got a nice little run going, you know. You've got to be doing everything in your power to keep that run going. And uh, it's up to us now to, uh, you know, to start again in the league and, and see if we can get a, um, a good little run going. Because, uh, you know, we had done previously. We took 10 out of 15 points. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll bounce back from this. Obviously, there's the opportunity when we go away to, uh, to Lincoln, Lincoln on Tuesday. But I know my players can perform better um, because they've shown that they can perform better. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll deal with this game. We'll have a think about it. We'll, uh, you know, have a, have a chat with the players. Then we'll box it off and we'll move on to the next game. And in terms of availability, obviously, uh, Nicky may well be doubtful for that game. Uh, Adam Griffin will be available after his uh, suspension. And uh, is Mike Williams due back from Staley Bridge? Yeah, Mike Williams um, finishes his loan period today on the 1st of November. So, yeah, there'll, there'll, there'll be Mike, there'll be, uh, there'll be Adam Griffin back in the fray. Um, Ryan Crowther's um, got to see the dock on Monday. Um, the back's still proving to be um, a little bit troublesome. So, uh, uh, hopefully, we'll get to the root of that. And uh, Sinsel Bank, that's a really good stage to play your football on and I'm sure it'll be a decent uh, pitch there. So perhaps we can uh, show our true selves a little bit more on Tuesday night than we did this afternoon. I would say so, yeah. I mean, I went to watch uh, Alfredson play against Lincoln in the, uh, in the cup replay. Um, you know, nice ground, nice surface. Uh, and let's see, uh, you know, let's see what the uh, the uh, the players are capable of, because uh, you know we're, we're we're capable. I mean, the players are obviously disappointed in the dressing room, uh, but we're, we, you know we're capable of, of, of more of what we've shown, uh, more than what we've shown. Sorry, um, today. So, uh, like I said, you know, we deal with the game, then we box it off, and you move on to the next one. That's what this season's going to be like. That's uh, Lee Sinnott there uh, with his very clear thoughts on the performance on Altrincham's defeat against Alfreton Town here this afternoon. We travel to Sinsel Bank on Tuesday night, 7.45pm kickoff. Let's hope for a better performance and result in Lincolnshire.